dollar build this is a lapier sensium frame we got this whole build for 200 bucks the wheels and it's not hot enough and it's all legit stuff 200 bucks uh for the everything the the rims were 50 dollars and this frame it was stripped back down and uh by a local mountain biker guy and he's just an unfinished project he's just he just flogged it off and uh, he offered me a deal i couldn't refuse i've got 105 group set so you see it's been sitting around a bit um it's got some lappy air fork and uh i'm gonna build it up and then also then sell them to a mate for 200 bucks uh he, a guy who helps me out a lot so and uh it's 57 100 uh 5700 rather 10 speed shimano got a bottom bracket here and uh it's a, a dura ace bottom bracket give it all, all with a clean up it's all in good condition just needs a bit of a clean and uh it's a bit munched there something I'd probably, I'd probably do but yeah make sure you use the right tool so it needs a bit of a few hours of cleaning it up but that's what we're here for cassette chain everything it's even got the dropouts which are got this thing here so I have to spend here we go is the dropouts so this would probably cost you know three hundred dollars for or two three hundred dollars for a local bike shop to build it up this would probably take me about an hour to build up and uh maybe an hour and a half to get it all dialed up and uh, clean and stuff like that. So there you go. I'll build this up now, and uh, I'll do a video about it. But that's what I'll just show you. Quick video, two minute video. Two hundred dollar bike. Look at it. <laughs> just chopped up, stripped right back. And uh, these cerums. This uh, tire's already flat, so I put a different tube in there. Maxis refuse tube, and uh, it's good to go. Good to go. The old, actually not cerums, they're axioms. They're axioms. Someone's done a bit of a home job paint there. So there you go. And uh. Maybe questions are, oh, that's stolen. It's not stolen. This is all legit. The guy had these wheels. He's like a local uh, racer guy. And uh, the guy I got this frame off, he, uh, he's a local mountain bike rider. So all this stuff is legit. Nothing's hot about it. And a uh, hot price, though. The bar's in good condition. You know, safe. Look, look at the shifters, you know what I mean? They've hardly done any EKs. Bit dropped a little bit. Just dusty. Fork. Alloy steerer. Just dirty, you know? And so it's just one of those projects. It's just... Just uh, been sitting around, you know, everyone's got one of those. But this frame, I weighed it. Painted, it's 930 grams. So there you go. So that's the deal with it out there. But again, you need to know what you're looking for, blah, 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 blah. I've got enough frames and stuff, so. Got a bargain. And I pass the bargain on. Win win. So that's the deal there. <laughs> Scraggle Puss. Roxy. Which is, I'll give you the, I'll give you the brown eye for the camera. Um. There's deals out there, isn't it? It's amazing. Gravel bike. It's, uh, just need to put a brake line on there. Cable test so it's easy to work with. Wow. But I'm just hunting for a compressionless housing. The deal is out there. Uh, you just got to know what to look for. I mean, well, why pay more? You know, if you want, pay more by all means. But you can get high-end carbon bikes off of me for, you know, or Duranrod.com. Currently six ninety nine Custom painted high-end. There's a high-end frame set. It's just like... People paying people paying up to seven nine thousand dollars for a frame and four, at made in China, not even custom painted. I'm like, cool. They just pay for the sticker. Cool. Each to their own. You know, I've, I've definitely uh, spent a lot on bikes in my life, and that's fine. I'm just giving people options, and uh, that's the deal. So, you know, how much money have I saved this year? You know, so I'm just letting people know, like, if you got if you want to burn money, burn money. Great. Support local bike shops. Fantastic. Online. Burn through your cash, do whatever you want. I love it. Love it. Also, if you're on a budget, uh, these videos are out there to show you don't need big money. It's, we, we, in cycling, it's almost like a bit of a, a wanky sport and that people think they have to have big money to participate and have a nice high-end carbon bike. You don't. 200 bucks I got that bike for. 200 bucks. Right? There's deals out there. It's just about knowing what to get. You don't want to buy something that's been snapped and it's broken and it can be dangerous, you know. Then again, some cracks can be okay. You got to be experienced, not to look for. Um, but otherwise, the deals are out there, and uh, so I like to try and make some videos to, to for the everyday dude, everyday dudeette who are maybe on a budget and they can't afford a my bike or they can't afford whatever. Letting you know, just giving you options, man. There's deals out there, and learning bike mechanic skills that goes everywhere. I've fixed thousands, no, it would be thousands of bikes. Mm. Would be thousands. It'd be close to a thousand bikes. I've definitely worked on. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Twenty years. Helping people fix flat tires or gears or brakes or whatever. 
maybe I don't know. It's, it's, I've lost count. Maybe it's a thousand. Maybe it's over. Maybe it's thousands. I don't know. It's a lot of bikes, and it's thousands of dollars that I've saved or help other people save or just being generous with time. Because people, I'll be honest with you, when I had no idea about mechanics, I would go to, to you know my mate's shop, Kim, or I mean, back in the day Steve Nash or John from Track Cycles or Guys and Bicycle Express, and and they would fix my bike for free, you know, and just because I was just one of the one of the one of the one of the dudes, and um, so I'd send customers their way, and it's just it's a win win. So I really appreciate people's generosity, fixing my bike for free, maybe doing my brakes, just just seat, just little little things, you know, tune up a wheel, and so that that maybe you want to pay it forward and help other people out. So I think we have that in society that you know people helped you out, help noobs out as well. A lot of people get helped out as a noob. And then like, I was never a noob. No, man, I was pro all day. Always pro, mate. Always pro. And it's like, come on, bro. Like, what are you doing? So maybe it's my age. I'm 42. Come up 43. So how I treat how people, how they treat people, how people treat me. And especially people nice to me. I, I like that feeling. And uh, I like helping other people share that feeling as well. Pay it forward. There's deals out there. You want one of these? Doonride.com. You got any questions? Down below. Let's do it.